Hey everybody, welcome back to This Week in Geek in 2023, our very first episode of the year. Woo-woo-woo-woo! <laughs> I'm your host, Jess, and it has been a while since we've been here on the couch with you. There's been a lot of travel. As you know, I shot a commercial that I had a lot of fun doing. And thank you so much for uh, bearing with us and having so much fun with the group episodes we did. I thought that was a lot of fun, bringing everybody here onto the couch to debate and uh, find out what their favorite, what, Christmas movies were? What else did we do? Holiday traditions. Favorite? Holiday traditions. Yeah. We argued about the best game of the year. Yeah. If you haven't seen those episodes, go back and watch those. So, we are back to talk about what's new in gaming, TV, movies, tech, everything geek. Let's get into it. If you haven't heard about this yet, Jeremy Renner is in critical condition, but he did post a selfie on Instagram saying that he's gonna be okay and thanking his fans for all the love and support he's received. He was involved in a snowplow accident. As reported by Variety, apparently he's a very generous neighbor who would use his snowcat, which is a 14,000 pound huge piece of snow plowing equipment to clear the road for his neighbors. And one of his family members was stuck in one of his cars, so he went out to go get them. And in the process, got out of the snow plow and it started to roll away. So Jeremy tries to get back into the driver's seat and in the process, I guess, gets run over by it. Uh, yeah, so the selfie that he posted, he did not, he did not look good. Um, but I'm just, I'm curious, if you need a license to operate that? He helps a lot around his community. I know he's like a volunteer firefighter. I know he like drives the fire truck and stuff. Wow. Yeah, it's almost like he's an actual superhero. Aww. Yeah, and like real superheroes, he can get run over by thousands and thousands of pounds and survive. The Evil Dead Rise trailer came out today and it looks genuinely terrifying. There are some horror tropes like walking on the ceiling and things like that, that that show up in the trailer, but there's also things that really got to me. Like there's a, a close up of razor blades prickling from underneath the skin and it's like a very close up of this happening and, and a needle coming towards an eye, like things like that where I'm like, ooh, this is gonna make me genuinely uncomfortable. And it's being produced by uh, the guy who did Don't Breathe, which is one of my favorite horror movies and also executive produced by uh, Ted Raimi, Sam Raimi? which, one of those, Sam yeah. Raimi, <laughs> who actually made Doctor Strange good in Multiverse of Madness. So I'll be at the theaters to watch it. According to The Verge, Disney Plus is releasing a documentary on the creator of Marvel's Stan Lee this year. Now, I understand that there's already one that was released in 2010, but he did pass away just a few years ago. So I'm curious as to what this new spin in this documentary will be. We got a rumor. <laughs> Aaron Taylor Johnson is in talks to be the next Bond. Ooh! Yes. Good. Yes. According to Puck News, there's a rumor that he met with, um, I'm sorry, Barbara Broccoli. I did not know that was her name, the producer of uh, the, 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 fran the Bond franchise. I did not know her name was Broccoli. Uh, there's some rumors floating around that this could be the screen test that was reported um, earlier last year. Uh, judging by your guys' reaction, this seems like it's a good thing. I think he'd be excellent. But also, Tom Holland was petitioning to be like a young James Bond, but um, I guess the producers have come out and said that they, they're not interested in a, in a younger Bond story, that this Bond, Bond needs to be experienced. To promote Hasbro's Dungeons & Dragons Honor Among Thieves movie that comes out later this year, very excited about that, they have just released figurines on Amazon that you can get now. You can get uh, Justice Smith, Michelle Rodriguez, Hugh Grant, and a gelatinous cube with mini figurines that go inside of them. And to be honest, they don't look that good. <laughs> and I'm also wondering why they didn't make D&D &D minis. These are six inch collectible figures. It's a D&D &D movie. Why wouldn't you make D&D &D figurines that people can play their Dungeons and Dragons games with your movie characters? Hasbro, hire me. In gaming news, as you know, The Last of Us is going to premiere soon on HBO, and Naughty Dog released on their official blog some new conceptual art from their multiplayer game, which features a huge, rusty cruise ship. And uh, on the blog, uh, the co-president, Neil Druckmann, said, we're looking ahead to The Last of Us' 10th anniversary in June, so we're excited to share more with you about the future of this franchise, so we can expect to hear more about this multiplayer game later in 2023. And I think this image of the cruise ship is 
very visceral and very real because I remember during the pandemic when Carnival volunteered their cruise ships as makeshift hospitals. So this concept image is kind of like reflecting what we almost encountered in our own real life pandemic. I do not have an update on the Ryan Reynolds Clue movie reboot that should be coming out sometime in the next year or maybe 2024, but there is a Clue board game reboot that according to Games Radar is available for purchase right now on what? Amazon for $22. And there's some big changes that were made, notably to the art. According to the Hasbro SVP, changes were made to more accurately depict or reflect the diversity of its players. So you can see that the characters have massively changed. One thing that I'm not a fan of though, however, is as you can see, they're all hot, which kind of takes the fun out of it because I kind of like playing like a weird, frumpy old Mrs. maid. White. Now Colonel Mustard is, he's zaddy. Like, <laughs> truly, look at him. And there's also some new features such as there's new fun special cards that offer an advantage. And the example that's given is uh, there's one that allows you to force the guiltiest looking player to reveal a card from their hand. So I, I love those changes huh. um, because I think that that kind of adds a little bit of pizzazz to a game that came out, I think in like the, the 50s. This game has been around for a long time. As some of you commented, there was some huge Henry Cavill news while I was gone. I saw it come across my feed and I was so sad that I couldn't be here with you to talk about it. Um, while I was gone, Henry Cavill announced on his Instagram that he will not be coming back as Superman. And instead, two days later, he posted that he signed on with Amazon in a deal to create a Warhammer franchise. And it, it seems to be very early in the stages because they need, uh, I think he said like a, they still need a writer and a director and, and something else. Um, so it seems like the studio is really just betting on Henry Cavill as, as a creator and as a, as a personality. So congratulations to Henry, that's Ooh. great. Yeah, Moving on from DC and on to something that he's actually really excited about. I think that's what we all want to see. In tech news, right now the biggest tech trade show of the year is happening, CES, Consumer Electronics Show, and there is a press conference that happens right before. And the most interesting thing that's come out of that, according to The Verge, who reported on it, is Masonite's front door that is $6,500 and includes a ring door view cam Yale Smart Lock, and some automatic lights that light up when you get close to your front door. And the $6,500, $6, only? I know this is insane, but have you been door shopping? No. I've been door shopping once, and, and the, some of the doors were like $10,000. What? What? For a door? door? Front door. You, like a door that was not smart? Yeah, it was like a cool, vintage, old door for Not, like $10,000. Where are you going it's shopping? It's like ornate and like has like cards. So did it at least have one of those like metal knockers on it? Uh, probably, but. So lots of fun, cool tech coming out of this conference so far, but the door by far is my favorite <laughs> one. All right, what welcome up? back to the couch. We're gonna do something new today in honor uh, of the new, new year. year. We had everybody in the office write down two of their New Year's resolutions. Including us. And we're gonna try to figure out whose is whose <laughs> based on gut instinct. Yep. But there are also four fake ones. Oh, great. So there's four ones that are not real. No one's resolutions. <laughs> oh my God. So we can also say, I think this one is that. And knowing the office, <laughs> people are going to have really weird New Year's resolutions. I kind of so. feel like they will. So we'll see. <laughs> and we're going to be giving ourselves points. The first one is get a wealthy boyfriend from Sussex. <laughs> <laughs> um, is that you? <laughs> I kind of feel like this is Jess. I'm gonna say Sheena. I'm gonna say Jess. <laughs> You're both wrong. That is it's a fake oh, one. It was a fake one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> to learn another language. Ooh, that could be Ooh. a lot of people. I also feel like that's you. I'm gonna say Ryan. Wrong, Clark. Oh, we're both wrong? That doesn't, wow. that doesn't seem like a Clark we one. We suck at this game. <laughs> this is to get better at speaking my mind while still being considerate of other people. And kind. And being kind. Oh, there that's so sweet. Wow. Who is hmm. that? I feel like maybe... Who's a loud mouth who needs to get better at talking, Clark? No, to get better at speaking <laughs> their mind. Oh, wait. I feel like this is maybe Raquel. Actually, I'm gonna agree, Raquel. Both wrong. Matt, you let her astray. It's yours. <laughs> oh! I just didn't want to guess for me. Yeah, you should have guessed for but now you still all have no points. Yeah, zero points. <laughs> to get fatter, so maybe I won't follow through with that and I'll actually get skinnier. Clark. I'm gonna say 
Not that I think you're fat. I'm gonna say Nick. Wow. It sounds, wow. Like, a, it sounds like a Nick thing <laughs> no, to say. No, you're wrong, Jess, you're right. One point for Jess. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> this is my favorite one so far. Stop buying Urban Outfitters wall art and get into <laughs> legit stuff. <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> I think this one I think this one's lens. Matt, you are correct! Oh! Yeah! Matt one just one. Damn. Hit the gym at least three days a week and eat smarter. Nick. I'm gonna say Raquel. Matt, a correct again! Oh no! Matt I'm losing. That is Matt two, oh. just one. Yeah! To get a six pack. Kyle. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get myself a point because that was me, mother. No! Oh. Get ripped or get super fat, whatever comes first. <laughs> it's another one of these. <laughs> Kyle. I'm gonna go with my gut. I feel like the other one was Nick, so I'm gonna say this one was Nick. That one is me! Oh. Yeah! Play more Goat Simulator 3. This is a fake one. <laughs> I'm gonna go with you on that. It's a fake you both one. get a point! Yeah. There's three left. Oh, I have to make a comeback. Uh, I have to so, get them all wrong and you have to get them all right. Be able to do the splits. That could also be a lot of people in the office. <laughs> I'm gonna go with uh, our resident pole dancer, Jess. And she's also gonna go with herself yeah. because you're right! Yeah. 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 It's me, it's me. Is she trying to throw them all? <laughs> I know, I almost th I thought I had you. Nope. Get rich or die trying. I'm gonna say Lens. I'm gonna say Ryan. Yes, you are correct! <laughs> yes. yes! Is this my comeback? You need one more point. So get my abs back at the gym. I'm gonna say... Who goes to the gym? <laughs> Does anybody go to the gym? I go to the gym every f morning. Oh, oh, wow. oh, maybe it's you, Jesus. <laughs> What's your guess? Oh, I never, I never have, have had abs, so I can't get them back. I feel like Sheena already has abs, so this is no insult to you, but I'm saying Sheena. Um, purely because it's mentioning the gym, I'm gonna say Clark. Matt, you are correct! No! Sheena. No! Oh. GG. All right, we gotta, we gotta figure out what, mm. uh, what I win or what your punishment is. Ooh, <laughs> so stick around for next week's episode because we will decide. We will decide. <laughs> and if you have any New Year's resolutions of your own, please let us know in the comments. Yeah. Uh, the crazier the better. We want to see what you've come up with. And uh, we'll see you next week for more This Week in Geek. Thanks for watching. Bye.